I discovered planets using the Kepler spacecraft, which is a space telescope measuring the brightnesses of over 150,000 stars simultaneously, taking a brightness measurement of every single one every 30 minutes. And what we're looking for is a telltale dimming of light that occurs when a planet in its orbit about the star happens to pass directly between the disk of the star and the telescope. The planet casts a shadow out into space, that shadow sweeps across the face of the telescope, and we see that signal as a dimming of light that has a characteristic shape and repeats once every orbit. Kepler has a very specific objective, which is to compute the fraction of stars in our galaxy that harbor potentially habitable Earth-sized planets. So what Kepler can measure is the size or radius of the planet and the orbital period of the planet. We get the size by looking at how much of a dimming of light the planet produces, and we get the orbital period by timing the interval between the dimmings of light. So what Kepler considers to be Earth-like is simply in terms of size and orbit. We're looking for things that are about the size of Earth, things that we think would be rocky, have a rocky composition, and are at an orbit uh, where you would receive about the same amount of energy from the parent star that Earth receives from the Sun. Our definition of Earth-like is going to evolve as we gain capability, right? We're going to build instruments capable of characterizing atmospheres, for example. We'll look for things like oxygen, nitrogen, CO2 levels, and so as we gain that capability, our definition of Earth-like is going to become more fine-tuned as we search for those true Earth analogs. I don't know if we'll find another habitable environment in my lifetime, but I do think that we have a pretty decent chance of finding evidence of life beyond Earth within the next few decades. Uh, we know how to do it. Uh, we're not limited by our imagination, by technology, uh, simply resources. The discovery of new worlds makes me love our own even more. And it gives me a certain perspective about how delicately balanced life is uh, in this cosmic space, in this narrow range of parameter space in terms of temperature and pressure and all the just right quantities.